Hey everyone and welcome back to Mommy Talk. My name is Sarah and this is where I like to talk about my life and all things mommy. This week baby is as big as a bell pepper. Look how big it's getting. Weight gain this week is another one pound. I have um, last week I believe I was 130 pounds and now I'm 131 so officially one pound more. So it seems to be kind of like a pattern. I, keep, I seem to be gaining like one pound per week so um, I think that's pretty I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty normal. Cravings this week, um, I actually have been, I was craving like some sweets like really bad. Um, I was craving like some chocolates and stuff, but then all of a sudden, I like last night especially, I really wanted like steak. I wanted like, oh, just like a really good steak. And it was like at one o'clock in the morning. So it was like completely and totally random. There wasn't anything on TV that like showed me steak or anything. It was just like all of a sudden I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just really, really want some steak. Like, and I didn't want to send, like, technically, I probably could have sent Cody to the store to buy me a steak, but then, like, I didn't want to have to, like, send him all the way to the store and then have to make it for me and then everything, because, like, I wanted it, like, restaurant quality, already prepared steak. So I didn't end up getting it, which was kind of a bummer, but yeah, so that was, like, a big craving for me this week. I don't know, I just, like, really wanted some chocolate, so, um, and the, I, I couldn't get it, because, like, I didn't have any in my house, I, like, hadn't, I didn't have any chocolate, like, at all this week, and then Cody finally went to the store and got me, like, a bunch of junk food, like, he got me donuts, and he got me candy bars and stuff like that, because he knew that's what I had been kind of wanting, and then I finally get it, and I don't want it, I want steak, <laughs> I wanted, like, big, like, meaty steak, which is weird, because I haven't really been craving a lot of, like, meat this pregnancy, and I, like, I didn't either for like the both the pregnancies before that, but I, I think I've been craving it more like this pregnancy, like I want meat more than I did my other two pregnancies. Um, and no, it just like sounds really good, like barbecue pulled pork uh, sandwiches or um, steak, obviously. So yeah, I just really wanted like a good steak. I was just like, oh, and I still do. I still want one. I'll have to see if I can get a steak soon. Like maybe I'll have to go out to eat or something and get like a steak. So I don't really have a ton to report on this week. Um, week 18 hasn't really been all that exciting, um, but there is one thing that has been really, really exciting this week, and that is Cody finally got to feel the, the baby kick. I am so excited about that. He was so excited, and um, it was like just one big, like I could feel the baby just like rolling over, and it was like really big, and I was like, Cody, come feel the baby. And normally he's like, really really impatient like he'll put his hand on my stomach and then he'll be like okay well I don't feel it I'm like well you have to wait like it's not gonna happen immediately but he was holding his hand there and he finally felt like a big kick and we both felt it at the same time it was so awesome it was really late at night both the boys were sleeping it's just kind of like a moment that we got to share like partner to partner and it was just it was really special and I was like oh I'm so excited that he finally is able to do that because that's so exciting it's such a special moment when your partner or your significant other is able to um feel that you know it's just if there's something special about you feeling the baby the kick you know baby kicks inside of you and it's something sp even more special when your partner is able to feel that too it's just it's just a really special moment I was finally finally able to pick up um, fetal heart tones on my fetal heart Doppler I have one uh, a home Doppler that I bought actually with my pregnancy with Shaden and I've been trying and trying and trying this whole pregnancy to, to hear that on um, my own home Doppler and I was never able to pick it up and I was getting so discouraged and so frustrated because I'm like why am I not able to he like hear these heartbeats like I was able to pick it up so early with Shaden like I don't know I think it was like even as early as 13 weeks I think is when I bought it and it was no trouble at all to pick it up so I'm like I was so frustrated, but finally at 18 weeks, um, I, well, it was like just after 17 weeks, so some, between 17 and 18 weeks, I was finally able to pick it up, so I'm like really excited about that. Like I said, I don't really have a ton to report on this week. Um, the only thing that I can really think of left to report on is um, last week I had like a belly explosion. Like you saw in my last video, like I was huge. Like all my pregnancy pictures that I've taken, um, I try to take one like every day because I'm actually making like a pregnancy movie kind of thing. I've got this app for it and I try and take one every day so that you can see my progression and all of a sudden I took my pregnancy picture today and like it just is so, it's gonna be so inconsistent because it's like such a discrepancy because I go from like this to like this. 
again. So I must have been having like major bloating these past couple weeks because um, I've actually noticed it for like the past two, three weeks going on now where I was just feeling like really huge and really uncomfortable. And you guys didn't even get to see my 16 week video. So even then I was feeling like really, really big. And I was starting to feel like unusually uncomfortable, which is, and I even thought to myself like, this is so weird because in my other pregnancies around 17, 18 weeks, I'm not really showing until like 20. And 20, I have like a very obvious, very defined bump. Whereas now I was like showing at like 16 weeks, like major, like the only thing I compare it to is I have a picture of myself at 22 weeks with Shaden and I look as big at 16 weeks as I did at 22 weeks with Shaden. So I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like huge. But then all of a sudden this week, I'm just like, I don't know. I just like shrunk back down to normal size. So I'm actually like way, way skinnier, like way, way smaller. And hopefully you guys can see that. I actually did kind of eat just a little bit, but it shouldn't affect it that much, I don't think. So the last thing that I kind of wanted just to touch base on is just letting you guys know that Parker is so excited for this baby. And I just wanted to share that with you because it makes me so excited as a mommy when he just comes up and kisses my belly and it's just he's like there's a baby in there and I'm just like yeah there is a baby are you excited and he goes yeah and I said do you love the baby and he goes yeah and he seems really genuinely sincere and he is such a good big brother to Shaden already like of course they have their moments where they're at each other's throats but most of the time they get along really really well they have a really close bond and Parker is such a good older brother and I feel like Shaden will be just as big good as an older brother too like I've I feel like they both have so much love to give and they're both in that stage where they're still so innocent and they're still so loving and giving, you know, of themselves that I feel like, I feel like I have a really good age gap between my kids. Like, I, I know that it technically wasn't planned this way. Um, I didn't expect to have three kids by the time I was 20, 23. I didn't expect them all to be exactly two years apart, but... Maybe, you know, this was just like the way that it was meant to be and that I'm just really excited. I can't wait to see kind of how our journey unfolds and how our family just kind of goes about life and how everything will turn out. So it's, it's really exciting. I hope that I will get to see you guys for week 19. Okay, bye!